Millions of deaths have been prevented through polio immunization. Vaccinating all children. It takes a lot of uniting together to make these vaccines possible. Ensuring that polio vaccines are stored at the required temperature is essential. These vaccinations travel through the care of the country free of the disease. In September 1988, the Regional Committee for the Western Pacific of the World Health Organization launched a move to eradicate poliomyelitis from the Western Pacific region. The Philippines then started to conduct the National Immunization Days and just a year later, the country had their last case of polio. Twelve years after the launch in 1988, Philippines was finally declared polio-free with the Regional Certification Commission for Poliomyelitis Eradication. The national health sector, along with the help of the government and international organizations, created a number of programs to maintain its status. But the risk of the reemergence of the disease became higher throughout the years. The country's polio vaccine coverage was gradually declining. 19 years after its polio-free declaration, an unfortunate news shocked the nation. Philippines was yet again struck with polio cases and had to declare a polio outbreak. What exactly caused this? How do you prevent such events from happening again? Our team went to Zamboanga City Health Office to interview Dr. Dulce Amor D. Mirafite to give us a better understanding on this health issue. Poliomyelitis is a disease caused by a virus. Now, the virus is called the poliovirus. So it gets in the body by the fecal oral round. No? So an infected person sheds it and it goes with the stool or feces and then if contaminated ang water or hands or object na nilagay natin sa, sa bibig natin. No? So, uh, ma-infect din yung isang tao. And once it's in the body, it can affect the spinal cords or the nerves and it can cause paralysis. Some of the some of the people are infected people are asymptomatic so they will not manifest any symptoms, no? While others will have mild symptoms like fever, uh, headache, no? masakit ang katawan and uh, Meron na sakit yung siyan, no? and then uh, some will manifest severely, they will have paralysis, no? so paralysis of the limbs or of the legs, or, uh, mostly lower extremities of paralysis. So yung prevention ng polio natin is through our vaccine. So we have vaccines, we have the uh, IPVs or our injectable, no? ini-inject natin yung IPV natin, yung isa is oral OPV, yung oral polio vaccine natin. So, ito yung dalawang vaccines available for the prevention of the uh, disease. Because it's caused by a virus, so we don't really have medicine no? for it, but we have a vaccine to prevent it from happening. So for us to really eradicate uh, a disease like polio because it's caused by a virus, you know, so we have to have a herd immunity or uh, people should be vaccinated para uh, ma-prevent nga natin yung infection. No? So sa herd immunity natin, at least sinasabi natin 80% of the population should be uh, should be given the vaccine so that the 20% vulnerable or those who really cannot get the vaccine are pr protected by the 80%. So, kung for example, gumagaba ang coverage natin sa ating immunization, so nag-break natin yung wall, no? So, mas na-penetrate ng virus yung mga vulnerable population to be infected, so nagkakaroon ng uh, ng outbreak. 
if you want to look at the world without vaccine, look at COVID. Rest assured that uh, the vaccines that are used are really well studied. No? So, uh, it's more uh, fearful if we do not have the vaccine because it can cost the lives of the people we love or our own lives if we don't take the vaccination. To the parents who are watching, no, our polio vaccine, that's to prevent the your children from getting a uh, polio, no, from being infected with polio. Our our vaccine is available in our health centers. So, uh, dapat tatlo, tatlong doses ng OPV at isang IPV ang, binag, ang binibigay natin sa child natin, no? Uh, at 2 months, at 4 months, at 6 months, or until 12 months, no? So, tatlong, tat, yun yung mga schedule natin, and an IPV, an injectable uh, polio vaccine. If we don't have complete, fully uh, immunization of the child, pwede siyang magkaroon ng mga vaccine preventable diseases and polio is one of them and can cause the death. With all the information laid out in front of you, are you willing to participate in the world's fight against polio? Stand with us! Stand with us! Stand with us! Stand with us! Stand with us!